Hey guys, welcome back. So I have the sim here and I have the ground geo along with the cached file. This is how the cache looks like. And I didn't do a, pl a preview of the full thing. Okay, let's just take a look at the ground by itself. So this is our ground geo. And it's working. And you can see the the this effect, the collapsing effect, which is pretty, very cool and very simple. Okay, we have de uh, the details where we want them to be, and then let's uh, let's add the other remaining parts. So we have that. We have the wood. Okay, we have the main building, and what else do we have? We need Kong. Yeah, we need Kong, so let's visualize that. It is here. And I think there's... Maybe, yeah, the force is probably too big. Now that there is... Yeah, the first one is too big. Actually, all of them, I think, are too strong. after we did the multiplication so we have to tweak that down but overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result and again this is the primary sim we are not we haven't done the high res yet which will take this and multiply it by a hundred times the amount of details and hopefully that's going to be the focus of the next one or two weeks depending on how much stuff we get covered And I, I'm using a uh, 10 subsamples, and this is simming in like 10 or 15 minutes with all of this. And the ground. Okay. We're going to do few more things actually I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna open a new Houdini session I'm gonna run this to cache on the background I'm gonna show you guys a preview of how it looks like even though it's not ideal I'll use this angle And let's continue. I'm gonna let this uh, preview on this side and I want to show a few more things. I think that, yeah, it crashed. Okay, never mind. We'll do a preview later. So, what I wanted to do now is I wanted to um, prep everything for proper caching. And as you guys so we can use the same file, the same cache with everything. So I have one cache and I'm applying that to uh, all the geometry at once. Okay, let's wait for this to finish. Actually, I'm going to pause. So uh, I want to prep everything for proper caching. And as you guys saw, we have uh, we have the points here for everything and that's perfectly fine to you. It's very fast and uh, we can uh, just apply the pieces that we're interested in to deform okay if it gets too heavy which it will uh, later on we're going to have a lot of points and we will separate them in that case so another thing that i want to to import is the constraints so let me copy this i'm going to move it here and right now we're importing all the RBD objects and that's perfectly fine. We're going to do continue doing this. And I'm going to add something to the constraints. One more bits of information that we will need later. We're not going to necessarily use this, but it's a very valuable information that we can uh, do things with later. And it's the right way, it's the proper way to 
uh, break constraints and cache them. Okay, so we have the data ready. And here inside all these guys, except the glue, that's why I don't like to use things that are, uh, I don't like to rely on this because Houdini uh, moves the constraints into a group called broken and I don't like, don't like that uh, behavior to be honest. So here inside this guy, we have all the breaking rules. We know this, this, and this, and we're changing the names of these guys. So if it became soft broken, then uh, uh, then we know this is a broken constraint. But one more bit of information that we need to store is the frame. Okay, so I at frame, break frame, I'm gonna call it like that, is equal at frame. And this is going to uh, contain the integer when this happened, okay? And later we can transfer this information back onto the geometry and trigger and know when things break apart and use this information to emit debris or do any things we want to it, primarily emit debris. Uh, but that information is very, very uh, valuable uh, for us. And so we're gonna do it here as well. And we're gonna do it pretty much in all places. And this too. We have specific names that we can look for. So, uh, and then I'm gonna import the glue, the constraints. So the first one is this, which is the main one I'm interested in. And it's very simple. We're gonna copy that same node and that's our constraint. We're gonna do the same thing for all of them. Okay, all the constraints that you have, import them here. Even, uh, even the ones that are auto breaking, um, uh, we're breaking them automatically like the ground and stuff. I would import all of them and then I'm going to do this and do a file and I'm going to copy this path. V, let's change this to V22 and here I'm going to change it to right and then this V22 I'm going to say 20, uh, sim underscore constraints and this is the main constraint and then I'm going to put down a delete node and I'm going to delete everything. So now we deleted everything and I'm going to delete all the attributes. Let's delete groups, that's fine. We don't have groups, but we'll do everything uh, there is to clean the geometry. So star, star, star. merge this and now we deleted all that stuff if we merge it when we hit save it's gonna trigger and start caching this to disk and we want this guy we want this information to be available uh, we can uh, we do this so we did that we do this guy and basically all of them so what is this this is the wood wood constraints CSD wood and same thing here we can actually merge them together and just delete all at once and now uh, that's basically we're going to continue doing all of this we make sure that we include the uh, the breaking frame for this we're removing the primitive so actually we, we're not going to do this that's why I wasn't sure we needed this thing the uh, this should work just fine. So I'm gonna call this wood. Actually, let's just give it, let's give it the same name. I'll probably go back and change all of them as well. So break frame is equal at frame. Okay. And we have that, that's it. And then we continue importing all the constraints and then we cache the data to disk. It's uh, Let's do one more thing. I'm going to increase the resolution here to 20. Uh, sorry, the sub steps. And I'm going to reduce the pop advect by 10. Actually, we left this number, which is pretty high. So let's just do 50. And maybe 75. 
Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna cache this to disk. I'm gonna set it to 240, and then we'll continue in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in a bit.